Hallelujah. I begin to worship God. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much you need him. He's worthy to be praised. Uh -uh, his angel is here this morning. His angel is here this morning. Tell him how much you love Jesus. The ministering angels are here this morning. They are to minister to every of your needs. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus, somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Be seated for a second. Uh, before you are seated, let's read the word of God if you see it. Hallelujah. Amen. Daniel chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stand for the reading of God's word. Daniel chapter 2, chapter 2. Thank you, Jesus. I want to bless God for my Father and the Lord, Apostle Professor Johnson Suleiman. I am enjoying ministry. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. I want to bless God for Papa and Mama. Hallelujah. So, Been a very strong supporter. Hallelujah. I want to bless God for their life. Hallelujah. I want to thank God also for my wife, the one, was, the one that's back. Woo! Hallelujah. 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 Mm. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. The one that is managing me. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. God bless you, baby. I love you. I appreciate you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Clement, Pastor Ovia, um, Nandi, God bless you. Man of God, God bless you. Um, everybody, you guys are amazing. Hallelujah. Oh, Praise God. Huh? <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Say, Pastor Nandi? Yes, so. Amen. Amen. I receive that for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yeah, but he's running away from the pulpit. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I've been trying to get him to do stuff. The last time I said I do stuff, he didn't come to he didn't come to church the next day. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Daniel chapter two, verse one to five, please. Amen. Amen. I want to appreciate you. I Latisha. I don't want to spoil it because my wife said I don't know how to pronounce names. So that's okay. <laughs> Atisha, my mother, God bless you. My sister, God bless you. God bless everyone here. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Uh, then chapter one, one to five, please, quickly. Hallelujah. We have 20 minutes to work this out. In the second, in, in, somebody can read for us. Chapter two, right? Yeah, two, verse one to five. You can read man of God. Okay, okay. I don't know. Now, in the second year of Nebuchadnezzar's reign, uh -huh. Nebuchadnezzar had dreams and mm -hmm. spirits. I want, you to, I want you to read it like you read, like with mm -hmm. God. Uh huh. So now, in the second year of Nebuchadnezzar's reign, uh -huh. Nebuchadnezzar had dreams. He had dreams, right? Yes. Go on. And his spirit was troubled. His spirit was troubled. His spirit left him. Mm -hmm. Then the king gave the command to call the magicians and the astrologers, the sorcerers, and the chadings to tell the king his dreams. Mm -hmm. So they came and stood before the king, mm -hmm. and the king said to them, mm -hmm. I've had a dream, mm -hmm. and my spirit is anxious mm -hmm. to know the dream. Mm -hmm. Then the chalice spoke to the king in Aramic, mm -hmm. O king, live forever. live forever. Tell your servants the dream, mm -hmm. and we will give you the interpretations. Mm -hmm. Five says, the king answered and said to the chalice, my decision is firm. If you do not make known the dream mm -hmm. to me and its interpretation, mm -hmm. you shall be cut in pieces and your houses shall be made as ash heap. Amen. Stop Amen. there. I want you to stop there. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. But if you don't mind, I want to read just for emphasis sake from um, Amplify. Say, in, this, in the year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, thank you so much, I want to go. In the, year, in, the, in the year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, and a dream, uh, he had a dream, he had dreams rather, by which his speech was troubled and agitated, and the sleep went from him. 
Amen. The sleep went from, I want to mark that sleep went from him. Praise verse 2. Then the king commanded to all the to call all the musicians and chanters of the Osutsias, or sorcerers, with the Chaldeans and diviners to tell the king his dream. So they came and stood before the king to tell the king his dream. I was impossible with that. You dream a dream, you had to me to tell you what, what you dream. I was not in I was not part of your dream was. Hallelujah, praise God. The king said to them, I had a dream, and my spirit is troubled to know the dream. But I'm gonna to jump to verse 5. He said, and the king answered, and the king answered the Chaldean, the uh, Chaldean, that the, the king is gone from me. No, the dream rather is gone from me, and uh, the decree goes forth. And I say, It will, it will all encompass him. If you do not make known to me the dream with simple interpretation, you shall be cut in pieces, and your house shall be made a downhill. Hallelujah. God bless the beginning of his word. Let's be seated. Just turn to the next person. Turn to a person by you. Say, Welcome to church. God bless you for being here this morning. I'm so honored to have you here. And uh, the person is not, he's not, if the person is not talking to you, say, You better take my number today. <laughs> Amen. Because very soon I'll be famous. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I want to preach briefly on what I've tied to. I have a dream. I believe some of you will know if I say, I have. You know what? Where I got this going. Praise God. I have. A dream. Bible says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, says, I know the thought and vision or dream I have for you, a thought of peace, not of evil, to give you the end that you're expecting. Are you with me? In Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18, Bible says we are made for what signs and wonders. In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, Bible says we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works. Are you with me? Now, I want to start with this. A lot of us, when we are much younger, we have dreams. Hallelujah. You have goals that you set for yourself. You are dreaming big. Your vision was so huge. You want, you want to conquer the world. You want to be like Alexandra. You want to conquer the world. You want to do things. You want to achieve greatness. Praise God. But you encounter few challenges in your life, and some of you give up on your dreams. Uh, you know, a lot of people say, oh, maybe it's not impossible anymore. I am now, I'm at that stage in my life where I need to do other things. Hallelujah. A lot of people stop pursuing their vision or their dream when they encounter challenges. Hallelujah. Uh, there are many people that set out to become doctor because of it was so tough for them, they decided to become nurse. There are lots of people that set out to become scientists because it was so tough for them, they decided to become a tech, uh, 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 cyber security. There are a lot of people that set out to become somebody great, to become a great preacher, a great person, a great man, because they encounter challenges in their life, they change their perspective and life. I came here today to tell you to refire and rise you again and push you back to where you need to be in life and in destiny. Yeah. If you have a dream, if you have a vision for your life, hallelujah, the person that you should lay that dream at that, the feet of Jesus, hallelujah. The Bible says there is nothing that you give to God that can that is not safe. Everything you commit to God, it is always safe. Now, this is where I stop to prophesy to five persons here today. But the force of grace in the name of Jesus, everything that God envisioned for your life in 2020, in 2021 and onward, we come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every dreams you have, every vision for your life, every vision you have for your life to become somebody great, everything that, that, that God put within your spirit that ah, nah, but, but I want you to fulfill that have not been fulfilled yet, but the power of the Holy Ghost after today in the name of Jesus, I see your dreaming, your dream coming to pass. Amen. I see your dream come to pass. Amen. Come here and shout fire. Fire. I in, nine, in August 28, 1963, uh, there was a match on Washington and Martin Luther King Jr. delivered a speech that is famous today. I have a dream. In the speech, if I want to paraphrase, he speak of a time and day when black people would take their rightful place in, in this nation that they helped build over 100 years ago. Are you with me here? Praise God. And many, many of you dream that they dream today have not come to pass and some have come to pass. Are you with me here? It's not here to see it, but some of the dreams have come to pass. Now I said that to say this. Are you with me here? Praise God. Now there are two kinds of dream. There's a dream that you dream when you go to sleep. Hallelujah. Praise God. Those those ones are in the realm area. Hallelujah. Praise God. Many at times when you dream dreams, sometimes even when you go to sleep and you dream dreams, you should you should be watchful of how you treat your dreams. 
Because many a times, God speaks to us through our dreams. Yes, sir. Me, for me, anytime something wants to happen to my life, I will see it six months ahead. I will either dream about it or the Holy Spirit will tell me this is what is going to happen. Are you with me? Praise God. Or this is what is going to happen. Praise God. In this season of realization, God's vision for your life will come to pass. Amen. I don't know about you. I don't know if you felt the presence. I've felt the presence of, presence of an angel walking to this room. Are you with me? Now, do not take any gathering of the brethren easily. Do not take it lightly. Bible says you have come unto Mount Zion, the city of the living God, in front of innumerable company of angels, and to the firstborn in heaven, and in front of the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better thing than the blood of Eva. Are you with me here? Ah, uh, Mama, in your heart where you sit there, just begin to ask God for whatever I want for you, want Him to do for you today. Hallelujah. Just begin to open your mouth and begin to ask God whatever I want Him to do for you today. Just begin to ask Him that. Ask Him whatever I want Him to do for you today. Are you with me here? In Joel chapter 2, verse 26, God said, say, I am in the midst of her. Speaking of Israel, us, and he shall never be put to shame. I am in the midst of her. He shall never be what? Put to shame. Are you with me? In John 20, verse 21b. He said, Lo, I'm with you always, even till the end of time. Are you with me? See that one? Joel 2 27. He said, What? He said, What? I am in the midst of her. She shall not, he shall not be what? Put to shame. Are you with me? He shall not be what? Put to shame. He shall not be what? Put to shame. He shall not be what? What? Put to shame. In verse 28, he says, What? He says, He says, Man shall dream. dreams. Men shall what? Dream what? Dreams. Talk to me here. Mention what? Dream. dream dreams. Now, what is a dream? In the dictionary, I define dream as the what? As the what? The, the, a succession of images, idea, emotions, and senses, senses, um, sensations rather that usually occur involuntary in the mind during certain stages of sleep. Now, when a dream is not realized, it becomes a nightmare. Are you with me? Yes, sir. When a dream is not realized, I'm not talking about the dream that you have only when you go to sleep and wake back up. I'm talking about you sitting down and we structure your life and say, this is what I want to be like. This is what I, when God speaks to you, say, this is what I want you to do. You sit down and write it down. You begin to pursue it. Many of us in Christian dumb today, the reason why we are not where we're supposed to be because we don't have the vision for our life. So in, in other words, what I'm trying to say here in, in my message today, the dream I'm talking about, the vision of God for your life. You are not a failure until you give up. It doesn't matter how many times you fail. You only become a failure when you give up. Are you with me? Every man that you see that is successful today, they were failures before. Many people might have seen them as failures. I remember even most recently when 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 Elon Musk was trying to build to build the uh, uh, the rocket. Uh, you, there are many times he failed. Uh, they, they were, in fact, they were listening to an interview. They were asking him like, "You didn't go to school. How will you how will you build a rocket?" He said, um, "I'm not. I am not a rocket scientist. He said, but I read books." You say what? I read books. Praise God. I read books. Anytime you set out to do something, have a vision for your life, have a strategy. This is what I want to accomplish. Now let's go to the text for a second here. Amen. The Bible said that the king called Nebuchadnezzar. Hallelujah. He, 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 he dreamed dreams. And when he <laughs> dreams, plural. The Bible said that he. It, it did not, I, Bible not tell us whether he understand his, understood his dream or whether he wanted to torture his servants. You must interpret my dream. He said you must interpret my dream for what that. You must. I've never had anyone that, how can you dream, how can you be the one that dreamed the dream that you ask me to enter, you ask me to tell you what you dream, not only what you dream, tell me what, tell me my dream first, tell me my dream first, and then interpret it. There are many of us, we have dreams, but we want somebody else to interpret our dreams. No one can interpret your dream 
more than you can interpret your own dream. Nebuchadnezzar was fortunate because God wanted to do something. That's why I allowed that to happen. But many people today, they're waiting for somebody else to motivate them. They're waiting for somebody else to tell them, do this, do that, do that, do that. Apply this, apply that. They forget to understand that the only person they can completely trust, I'm saying this as a pastor, that you can 100% trust is yourself and God. Amen? Praise God. The only person you can 100% trust, I trust myself, but I trust God more. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. If you don't trust yourself, you can't achieve anything. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. And trust in the sense that believe in yourself. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Praise God. Vision is the reality of your future. Many people mistake their ambition for vision. I understand there is vision, there is ambition. There is dream and there is fantasy. Hey. Amen? Why dreams are not bad, but your dream must be put into practice yeah. if it must come to pass. When your dream leaves the wall of fantasy or the fantasy wall, it becomes a vision. Are you with me? Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 5, he said that he said the turn of the fool, we are every one of them. They don't even know how to get to town. <laughs> the toil of a fool. We are every one of them. They don't know how to get to where. There are two ingredients a dream has. Two ingredients. Hallelujah. Two ingredients. The first thing that every dream has, a dream must have a content. Somebody say content. content. Or if you don't, you didn't get that, maybe you don't understand that word, or substance. Substance the, is the real physical matter of which a person or thing is conceived. Substance is what? Is the real, is the real physical matter of which a person or thing consists, which has a tangible, solid presence. Every dream, although you cannot see that first physically, you must picture with your mind's eyes. If you want to build a house, see the house built. If you want to, if you want to buy a car, see your car bought. Are you with me? If you want to marry, see yourself married. If you want to have a big church, see your church big. Are you with me? I tell people all the time, I was not called to pastor a small church. Are you with me here? Amen. Praise God. I wasn't called to be a regular man of God. If somebody would say, we say you are oh, you're an African preacher. I say, I'm not an African preacher. I'm a, I'm a preacher from Africa. That's the truth. That's the difference. I can't, you can't fit me in the label. Are you with me here? There are many of us, we don't believe in ourselves. The king said to them, say, you know what? You must tell me my dream and interpret my dream for me. What a madness. <laughs> Praise God. Only you know the content of your dream. Bible says in John chapter 1, verse 12, say, and the word became flesh. And the word became what? And the word became what? The word became flesh. Bible says in Romans chapter 5, verse 8, the Bible says that God proved that He loved us in this. While we are yet in a Christ died. God proves that he loves us. That's a substance. That's a content. He said, I love this one. I'm going to demonstrate. Amen. I'm going to demonstrate. Every dream must have a content. If you believe in God to pay your rent, you must act like it. Behave like it. If you believe that you're going to go far in life, begin to act like it. Let people begin to see the content in you. Let them begin to see the substance in you. Let them people look at you and say, oh my God, you, there's something about you. You look different. Remember, people always used to tell me that every time when I go to a certain place, yeah. Uh, do you want to, I remember I went to court one time for rent, church rent. Yeah. You were there. And I said, ah, you're here for your house. Which house are you looking for? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. People see they people people see it in you. They see that they, you have content. You carry a generation inside of you. And the second thing, every dream has an appointed time. In Abaku chapter two, verse three, Bible said the vision is yet for an appointed time. The vision is yet for an appointed time. Every vision. Every dream has an appointed time. Now, if you begin to read the book of Daniel chapter 2, you begin to understand that 
When Daniel began to interpret the dream, he gave the, 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 the king details of what the dream is. The dreams, he, he, in fact, he said in the people in the verse following, he said that, he said, this is what will happen years from now. So that's what God revealed to you so that you can prepare for it. Every dream has an appointed time. The reason why many people today, they, they have failed in life because they, they want to arrive without departing. Bible said that many want to get rich so they pierce themselves with many sorrows. Bible said many want to become famous so they sell their soul to the devil. I prophesy to your life. I deny that the grace of my father who anointed me three times as a minister of the gospel. I speak to your foundation. I speak to your life. I speak to your circumstance. I speak to your family. I speak to your ethnicity. I speak to that altar in your house. But the power of the Holy Ghost, everything that I've held you bound, everything that is trying to hold you down, anything that is trying to stop you from getting to where you need to be, but the force of grace, in the name of Jesus, it is destroyed. 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 I don't know about you. I have a vision for my life. I have a vision for my life. One of, one of our speeches that I come, we say, Daddy, there is this person that is approaching me. I say, ask the person, what does he want? What is his plan, next five years plan? Hallelujah. Any man that does not have a vision for his life, it's a man that is not worth following. I mean, any man that does not have a vision for their life, or for his life, it's a person that is not worth following. A visionless man is a purposeless man. Vision gives you direction. Gives, vision gives you directive. The purpose of vision is to give directive. The, 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 the difference between a mere dream and a dream that is, that is incubated in vision, a dream that is infused with vision, is that vision gives you directives. Tap your neighbor and say, I have a dream. I have a dream. Do you have a dream? Now, two things. We're gonna close. We are. We're gonna close in the next few, 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 next few minutes. One thing I want you to know today. One of the ingredients that one one of one of the ingredient, the major ingredient that that dream every dream has. Listen to this one. Listen to this. I believe you can relate to this. Every dream at first look impossible. Let, let me tell you. If God know you can do it. If God knows that you can accomplish it by yourself, He will not give it to you. Yes, Lord. Because God, everything God gives to you must be bigger than you. <laughs> everything God gives to you must be bigger than you. Are you with me? So, so when you encounter a problem, you encounter trouble, you encounter setback. You don't just say when people are trying to people are trying to stop you from being what you can. When you set you when you set you say I'm going to do this, then you you begin to progress and then you begin to. Counter people that they don't understand where you're going. Don't be discouraged. It can even be the government that is trying to stop you. It doesn't matter. Amen. Amen. They will die. Amen. Every dream or every vision at first look impossible. Now, physics say it is impossible for man to walk on water, but the man did it. His name was Jesus. It is impossible for a woman to be pregnant without intercourse. But a female did it. Her name is Mary. Praise God. Praise God. Everything that they said impossible, someone have done it before. When the right brother first of all said that we, we build this thing, it's like a machine and it can fly. People say, what the hell is that? What is that? Praise God. Praise God. Now, over 100 years later, over, over 80 years later, we are flying. Now, we're talking about space. Are you with me here? I would not, people that said, oh, you know, let's spend money on that. Why we want to go to Mars? Some, if you have a dream, you have a vision to get somewhere. Amen? Even if nobody believes, even people think that it's impossible, forget about them and focus on your, your vision. 
Nebuchadnezzar thought that I got this one today. They cannot, they will not be able to tell me my dream. They will not be able. That people think that is in fact the, the Chaldean, the magician, the soothsayer, the center, and said, No, King, this is impossible. This is in what are you telling us to do? It's not possible. Every dream at one point looks impossible. When the Robert said that he was going to build a, build, build a university, build a tower, a lot of people are looking at him and saying, This guy is crazy. In Tulsa. Do you know where you are? So it's not New York. It's not California. It's Tulsa. Oklahoma, for that matter. Right. <laughs> but the man did it. Yeah. When the Oedipus said I was going to build, he's going to build three universities, he's going to do, he's going to do that. Mm -hmm. I got to find out that in, in that place, since 1999, they've been having 24 hours light in Canaan land. Wow. Someone did it. When Papa left, when Papa left Lagos, they was going to out you. They asked him, why are you going to out you about you? <laughs> Praise God. Papa went to me to be people that are supposed to be the ones to help him. Say, ah, we've been doing, been doing for this stuff for a long time. The largest church here, they have, the Navy now have more than 3,000 people. You, so the man, do you know where you are? <laughs> this is not Lagos. This is, a, this is Auchi. Population here is not more than 50,000 people. Praise God. But the man did it. Are you me? Every vision, if you have a vision or dream for your life, do not leave it to faith. Say, you know, if God gave it to me, if God is the one that said it, if God said it, if God said it, he says one must come to pass. So come. There are a lot of people that die with still their dream inside of them. In the name of Jesus, let's stand up. I prophesy to your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every dream of God for your life, it will come to pass. 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 God will silence your naysayers. God will silence your position. Watch out for dream killers. Watch out for dream killers. Bible said that the Bible said that Joseph had a dream and he told it to his brothers. Child. Psalm 23 said, Bible said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies. What David wrote this psalm when he was like 17. Oh, I can you go be a table for a, 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 a youngster. He's talking about the people that surround him. His own relation. They saw his star. They said this boy dreamed too much. <laughs> the last time he called, the last time he came to us and he saw, he told us that he killed a bear and a lion. Next time, he come to us and tell us now, uh, like Joseph did. He come and tell us that um, we are bowing to him. Mm -hmm. And I'm very sure that David might have might have told them about what God was going to do in his life because when they came to when when Saul came to anoint them, the brothers were there. That's why as I, after I left that place, one of the I'm going to teach about David. You, you just look at the life of David. You understand that David never had it easy. Wow. Look, go and look at this, this, read the Psalms. You understand the life of David. Because if you look, if you read, read the Chronicles and some you might not understand his life. But understand the struggle David had to go through to become what he became. Look at the Psalms. You know, this is a man that never had it easy. You're going to pray this one prayer before we close. Say, my father, my God, father, my God as I begin to God, pray, begin every dream killer in my life, God, remove them from my life in the name of Jesus. Open up and pray that for every dream killer, remove them from my life. Remove dream killers from my life. Remove dream killers. Remove dream killers from my life. Every dream killer, let them be removed in Jesus. Every dream killer. Look at the devil of position. To sabotage my life, to sabotage my destiny, to sabotage my mission, to sabotage God's God best for my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are cancelled, 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 cancelled. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray for everyone here today. Lord, as they go forth this week, 
go with them. Amen. Lord, Bible says you will be with them in trouble. You will comfort them, Lord. You will be with them always till the end of time. Amen. And bless these ones with the blessings of the Lord. Amen. Lord, oppose those that oppose them. Amen. Bless them that bless them. Amen. Cross them that curses them. Yes. In Amen. the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, they are the head and not the tail. Oh, yes. They are above and not beneath. Amen. Lord, they are the righteousness of God Amen. in Christ. This week is a great week for them. This week is a week of testimony. If you are the one I'm talking to, let your amen shine like thunder. God bless you. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall go in the house of the Lord ever and ever. Amen and amen. My head is a good head. My life is a good life. Angels are fighting my battles. Favor is on my side. This is my year of greater glory. And greater grace. No matter what the matter is, I will matter when it matters not. God bless you. And I'll see you next week. Amen. Amen. God bless you, man. I'm a matter.